thank you, Lord God, that God has made. We bless him and honor him. I thank him, giving him praise, glory, and honor. You know, we this is the week. This is, uh, amen, Thursday is Thanksgiving. We know that we're here at Tuesday. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. But let me tell you still again, I don't get tired of saying it. Every day is a day of Thanksgiving. He tells us to rejoice in him. Amen. Be thankful in him. We are to give him praise and thank him for, you know, brand new mercies, brand new mercies today. And I praise God. I thank God. Amen. Once again, everything that God has done, what he's doing, amen, in the lives of us, his people, his people. Thank you, Lord God. As we started out, praise God, amen, with you on yesterday, we were talking, we are sharing the story concerning, amen, Gideon, Gideon. Amen, praise God. But we understand, praise God, in Joshua, in Judges, who, see these days, Judges, in Judges chapter 6, we know that Israel, they did evil in the sight of the Lord, and God brought them into bondage. God brought them into bondage. Amen. It was through the oppression of the Midianites. Now, the oppression, amen, it caused them to live in dens and in mountains as well as in caves. And everything that, you know, that Israel, everything that they grew, amen, for harvest, the Midianites, they would come and take it. And even as we made mention, we understand, you know, about, you know, uh, locusts, amen, how locusts come and devour the land. You know, leave, they don't leave anything, don't leave nothing. But even here, they destroyed the land. These people, they destroyed the land. And this is the thing. It wasn't the Midianites' fault. It wasn't their fault. It was Israel's sin. It was the sin, amen, that they came, praise God, into this position. But still to understand, sometimes, you know what we do? We want to blame people. We start pointing fingers, you know, you, you did because of this or because of that. But this is the thing still again. Amen. We can't blame people, amen, for conditions that we find ourselves in. I can recall. Wait a minute. Let's, let's, let's do this. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Pastor Gary, you can unmute yourself if you want. But listen, understand this. I can read this. I, I remember the telephone disconnect, waiting for the next paycheck. We had uh, no pay dues. Amen. We were low on food. We were searching, amen, the house. Amen. Praise God for loose change. Amen. Going to church and masking our pain. We were robbing Peter to pay Paul. We were working two or three jobs. Amen. And let me tell you, our ends never met at all. Am I right about it, Pastor Gary? Thank you, Lord God. Amen. But I praise God and still thank you. Amen. Amen. In a condition... We were in the church. We were saved. Yeah, we were. Amen. But all these things were happening. Amen. And understand, we couldn't point fingers at nobody. We had to look at ourselves. Look at ourselves. And even here, the same thing where they had to look at themselves, what it was that they did. They did evil in the sight of the Lord. But sometimes when we're going through stuff, we want to blame everybody. And I still thank God, you know, I can remember a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, here in the Hampton Roads area, amen, I remember, amen, uh, Dr. Juanita Bynum had, come, had came here to the area, and I remember going to that conference. I can't remember everything she preached, but let me tell you what I did remember. I remember her saying these words, nobody can hold you down but you. And the only reason, praise God, that you're down is because it's not enough word to get you up. I walked out of there, made up in my mind, you know what? I will never be in this place again. I will never be find myself in this condition again. Thank you, Lord God. The Word of God is still even to understand. Focus, stay in focus. Amen on God. And when things not right in our lives, what we do, repent, ask God forgiveness. But I bless God because still even in the Word, amen, in the Word of God, and we're going there, praise God, in Judges. Amen. In Judges chapter 6. Amen. And I bless God for what God is doing. Amen. And has done. Thank you, Lord God. But even to understand, it wasn't until the people cried out, until they repent. Amen. For their sins that God sent the prophet. Amen. And it's still even to understand, God had to remind them, look, look, I look. We have to look at what God has already done. What has he already done in our lives? What has he done for us? We have so much to be thankful for. And still even, you know, this is my, my testimony. I'm saying, God, if you don't do nothing else, you already done more than enough. You saved my soul. Ah, my God. You saved my soul. Thank you, Lord God. 
on my way to a burning hell, but God, but God in the name of Jesus, he don't owe us anything. Oh my God, when we think about it, when we stop and literally think about it, sometimes we act as if though God owe us this and owe us that. God don't owe us nothing, but he gave us what we didn't deserve. Woo, thank you, Lord God, for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Mercy and grace in the name of Jesus. But I bless God and still again, even as, you know, Gideon, he was questioning some things. He wanted to know, well, you know, all of this that he had heard about, you know, God and wanted to know, okay, where, where, where is he? Amen. Thank you, Lord and God. But I still bless the Lord because even as God was making him to know, I'm going to use you, mighty man of valor. I'm going to use you. Thank you, Lord and God. And even as Gideon, amen, praise God, he was saying, amen, when the Lord turned to him and he told him to go, go with the strength, amen, that you have. Amen. Thank you, Lord and God. And even in all of this, he said, I'm going to rescue Israel, amen, from the Midianites and I'm sending you. Sometimes we feel like, you know what, we're not equipped. But even in all of this, what I thank God for, because even for Gideon, Amen, praise God, when he replied, how can I rescue Israel? He said, my, my clan, they're the weakest in the whole tribe, amen, of Manasseh. And I'm the least in my entire family. But the Lord let him know, he said, I'm going to be with you. I will be with you. And sometimes, let me tell you, those are words you need to hear. I'm with you. I am with you in the name of Jesus. We have to know, thank you, Lord God, and still even here, let's pick it up in the word of God. I bless the Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. In Judges chapter 6, we start at verse 16, and I'm reading to you from the New Living Translation. The word of God says this. The Lord said to him, I will be with you, and you will destroy the Midianites as if you were fighting against one man. So that tells us something right there. If he's going to be fighting as if though he was fighting against one man, because you got to understand he was going against an army, but still to understand, thank you, Lord God, that here it is. It was God. It's still God. And this is what you and I have to be focused on to understand. It's God. Everything is still God. I don't care what people say. It don't matter what, you know, people try to make you feel a certain way. No, it's God. And you giving God glory, amen, in your life for what God does. Thank you, Father. But even still here in verse 17, the word of God, Gideon, he replied, he said, if you are truly going to help me, show me a sign. Show me a sign and prove it's really, amen, it's you, Lord, that's speaking to me. Y'all, you, y'all know how we do. Amen. Lord, if this you, let it let the sun shine on the right side, you know, of the street, you know, and on the left side, let there be a cloud. We put up all kind of fleece before the Lord, but still even here, we want some kind of sign to know, God, this is you. This is you. Thank you, Lord God. And the word of God says he asks, amen, to understand, amen, that even as he's uh, making this, he want to make sure it's him. He tells him, he said, don't go away till I come back and bring my offering to you. And so he asked, sir, praise God, I will be right here until you return. And the word of God let us know in verse 19 that Gideon, he hurried home. And when he got home, he cooked a young goat, amen, with a basket of flour. He baked some bread, amen, without yeast. And then carrying the meat, amen, in the basket and and the broth in the pot, he brought them out, amen, to present it unto the angel who was under, amen, the great tree. And the Bible says, praise God, that the angel of God said to him, place the meat. Place the meat, amen, the unleavened bread, amen, on the rock, and pour, thank you, Lord God, pour the broth over it, and get in, he did as he was told, and in verse 21, the Bible says, then the angel of the Lord touched the meat, amen, and the bread with the tip of the staff in his hand, amen, and fire flamed up, amen, remember, thank you, Lord God, from the rock, and consumed, amen, all that he had brought, and the angel of the Lord disappeared. What? Oh, y'all, my God, to understand, amen, because here it is, when Gideon, he's going to realize something right now. When Gideon realized that it was, amen, the angel of the Lord, he cried out, amen, he cried out, thank you, Lord God, he cried out, because he understand no one can say, see, 
see face to face, see God, the Lord face to face. And we have to understand this is what happened here. This was not, this was an angel, praise God. We are saying angel, thank you, Lord God, but to understand, amen, this is not merely an angel speaking on behalf of God. It shows that it was God himself appearing in human form, amen, that spoke to Gideon. And this is what Gideon realized, and this is why he felt that he was doomed, amen, but praise be unto God, amen. And I thank God still again for his word, amen, unto him. Amen. It's all right, the Lord replied. Don't be afraid. You will not die. And Gideon, what he did, he built an altar by God. He built an altar to the Lord. And there he named it, thank you, Lord God, Jehovah Shalom, my God. Thank you, Lord God, which means the Lord of peace. Let me tell you, God is our peace. God is our peace. Thank you, Lord God. No matter what's going on in our lives, amen, God is our peace. And I praise God, amen, thank you, Lord God. Even still to understand, the Bible tells us, amen, that altar remains, amen, in Ophrah, in the land, praise God, of the clan of of Abner, amen, praise God, to this day, Abner, sir. (laughs) Y'all, I'm tearing up a word, but y'all, go in there and read it. Thank you, Lord God. But I still thank God because still even in the word of God, the Bible says that that night the Lord said to Gideon, take the second bull, amen, from your father's herd, amen, and the one that is seven years old and pull it down, thank you, Lord God, from your father's altar, amen, praise God, the father's altar to Baal, amen, and cut down, amen, he was told to pull down the, amen, basically the idols and still understand people of God, if God's going to be your peace, there has to be that there are idols, these idols, have to come down. Amen. You say, well, Pastor Dial, wait. I'm not worshiping no idols. Sometimes we make people idols. We make things idols. And still again, God is a jealous God and God is only going to have it where he is our God and that we're serving him, serving him. But still today, thank you, Lord God, I'm saying to you, Jehovah Shalom. And even to understand when we say God is our peace, understand there's nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken. Thank you, Lord God. And even as we were reading and studying, thank you, Lord God, and, uh, uh, to know this. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. I thank God because still again, Amen. To know that when we are saying the peace of God, the peace of God, what God does and how he does, amen, to fully understand in in, in order for, for Gideon to do what he had to do, he had to be at peace. He had to be at peace, amen, because he was preparing to go out for war. Thank you, Lord God. We have to be at peace. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. And I still thank God, even as we shared, amen, with you, amen, the crisis that we were in. Amen. I bless God and thank God. When when you're in crisis, when there are things that's going on in your life, you got to have the peace of God before you can do what God is calling you to do. Thank you, Lord God. And I thank God for the peace of God. I thank God that even in repenting, amen, for what we did wrong. Amen. Thank you, Lord God, and asking God forgiveness. And I thank God that even as he got us on the right track to do, amen, what was right, I still thank God that even still, even as God is using us for his glory, for his glory, thank you, Lord God. But even as we're saying, amen, that before Gideon could go out, amen, and do what God had given him, given him to do, amen, there had to be peace. And I thank God, amen, still again to know who God is. Jehovah, when we're saying Jehovah Shalom and still knowing God is our victory. God is. Thank you, Lord God. Not man, not woman. God is our victory. God is our creator. God is. Thank you, Lord God. He's our shepherd. God is the one who's leading. God is the one who will guide us. Thank you, Lord God. God is our righteousness. And we thank God that he's made us, praise God, in right standing with him. We praise and magnify him. He's our provider. God is. Amen. Whatever it is you need. Amen. What it is, we have to have our focus. Amen. Our focus, God got to be right. Amen. Things got to be right in our lives. Thank you, Lord God, that we're looking unto him. Again, we thank God. Even for those of you that's on this line, some of you, praise God, you're on your way to work. But still to know, thank, we thank God for the job. We bless God for that job. But listen, that job is only, thank you, Lord God, a resource. We thank God for being the source. He's the source. God is the source. He's the strength, thank you, Lord God, of our lives. We thank God for being our healer. 
our healer, everything that we need, all of these things is in when we think of Jehovah Shalom, peace, peace. Thank you, Lord God. Everything that we need, God is. And we bless him, thanking him in the mighty name of Jesus. Here it is, and Gideon is preparing. Thank you, Lord God. And even as the Lord speaks to him and letting him know, you're going to go out, amen, and you're going to lead Israel. Amen. Praise God. And it's going to be that you fight. It's, it's if though you're fighting with one man, because it's still understand it's God. It's God who's doing this thing. And when we get this in our minds, when we get it in our hearts and understand, thank you, Lord God, it's God. God. Everything is still God, y'all. It's God. Don't let nobody try to tell you anything different. Don't let nobody try to come and take things away from you, but understand, thank you, Lord, it's God. It is God. Jehovah, thank you, Lord God. Jehovah, shalom. My peace, thank you, Father. My peace in the midst of whatever storm. Thank you, Lord God. Jehovah, shalom. My God, my peace, thank you, Father, in the midst of, thank you, Lord God, whatever family circumstance we may have, thank you, Lord God, is still, amen, my peace in the midst of it all. Thank you, Lord God. So, Father, we give you praise today. We give you glory. We give you honor. We bless your holy name. We thank you for what you're doing in our lives. And even as you're moving in the word, Father, that we would hear, even as you spoke, Lord God, to Gideon, you're speaking to your servants. You're speaking to your sons and your daughters. And we thank you, Lord God, that we're trusting the word. We're trusting in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, it was where Gideon, he said, Lord, if it's you, I need a sign. Thank you, Lord God. God, God will give you a sign. He'll let you know it's him. Thank you, Lord God. For Father, we praise and glorify you in the name of Jesus. And as we go, thank you, Lord God, and do what you're calling us to do. Thank you, Lord God, because there are so many, Father, that are still, that don't know you, that don't know you, God. It's not, thank you, Lord God, we can't be satisfied. We're not satisfied, thank you, Lord God. We got family members. We got neighbors, we got co-workers around us, people that don't know him. Thank you, Lord God. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, you are our peace. And we thank you, Lord God, that we will be your mouthpiece. We're going to open our mouth. We're going to declare the word in the name of Jesus. Share this gospel. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We're coming against the enemy, Lord God, of our soul. We praise and glorify you, Father, and still knowing we will not fear, Lord God, the enemy. We will not fear roars. We will not in the name of Jesus because you have equipped us. Thank you, Lord God. And, Father, we bless you and honor you right now. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus, everything that you're doing, Lord God, for your glory, be glorified. Be glorified in the name of Jesus. We thank you today and praise you, Lord God, our Savior, our God. We thank you for strength. We thank you in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Thank you right now, Lord God, the blood that covers us, protects us, that keeps us. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We give praise to you, our Savior. Thank you once again, Lord God, even as we decree and declare your word. Father, cover your children. Cover, cover, cover them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And we yet speak the word of God over them. We speak, Lord God, in the name of Jesus and declaring, Lord God, that they're living for you. They're serving you with the beauty of holiness. We bless and honor you, Lord God, and I thank you. You're raising up an army. You're raising them up, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now that we'll not break rank. But God, in the name of Jesus, when they hear your voice, they obey it. Father, the commands, Lord God, that you would give them to do. We bless and honor you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you now, and we praise you, Father, in your mighty name, even as we are covered. Lord God, we thank you for the full armor, from the crown of our head, Father, to the sole of our feet. We bless you and honor you. We thank you, Lord God. We are prepared. We are prepared in the name of Jesus. We give you praise. Thank you for who you are in our lives. Thank you for being, Lord God, again, our victory. Thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We're not fighting for it. We got it. We already got it in the name of Jesus. We walk by faith, y'all, not by sight. We bless and honor you, Lord God, that we're able to see beyond what we're seeing. We thank you in the name of Jesus that we will remain focused, our eyes remain focused, Father, upon you, our Savior, our God. 
and we bless you and honor you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus this day. Thank you, Lord God, every appointment, every assignment in the name of Jesus, Lord God, the marketplace appointments, God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We praise and glorify you. Thank you for your strength, your strength, your power to do what has to be done this day in the mighty name of Jesus. We still declare it. Jehovah Shalom, God of peace. God of peace, he promised in his word, he said, I'll keep you. I will keep you in perfect peace. Keep your mind on him. Keep your mind on him in the name of Jesus. God, we bless you. We honor you. Once again, thank you for your sons and your daughters. We praise and glorify you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And it's still by your authority that you have given unto us the authority, Lord God, that we use the name. We don't leave home without it. In the name, we don't do nothing without the name, the name of Jesus. So, Father, I thank you that by the name we render every demonic spirit, every attack against us, our health, family, finances, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, helpless, powerless. Powerless and operative, still ineffective, we decree, declare your word. No weapons formed. Lord God, it gets us. It will not prosper. It will not work. Why? Because you said so. And Father, we're standing on your word. We're going in your peace. We're going in your might. We're doing what you have called, Father, us to do. And we give you all the glory. We give you the praise. It's in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. We bless God for the word. Amen. This morning, the prayer coming from the woman of God. I pray that you are encouraged. Amen. Praise God to continue to do what God has called you to do. Amen. As you go throughout today, remember, encourage yourself, encourage others around you, speak life and not death, speak victory and not defeat and know that you're way more than conquerors. You all are overcomers. You've been brought with the price, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Live on purpose, live with the purpose and live the purpose driven life. God bless you. Me and the woman of God love you. Go in peace.